Now it's time for another Board Game Brawl preview with Nick Meenahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. Hey peeps, today we're going to take a look at a game that is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. That game is called 5 Minute Dungeon and is from the company Wiggles 3D. Now if you like what you see throughout the rest of this preview video, I'm going to encourage you to go to the official Kickstarter project page. There will be a link up in the top corner of your screen, as well as down in the description section underneath this video. Those links will take you to the page. You can find out more information and hopefully consider backing the project. 5 Minute Dungeon is a fully cooperative game and as the name implies, you have 5 minutes to go down through a dungeon. Now in this case, there's going to be a dungeon boss and the dungeon is represented by a deck of cards with all kinds of nasty monsters and obstacles and challenges awaiting you nasty events as well you and the other players are fantasy warriors who have to use your hand of cards together cooperatively as fast as you possibly can in that five minute time in order to overcome these challenges now let me go ahead and show you what i mean with a quick preview and overview of the game uh, this is using a prototype version of the game so do bear that in mind what you see here may change slightly in the final version, although it's, it looks pretty final. Then we're going to come back, we'll discuss it further. Five Minute Dungeon is a fully cooperative game for two to four players. The goal of the game is to make it through an entire dungeon full of monsters and obstacles and then finally take out one of five dungeon bosses. But you'll lose if you can't do this in five minutes. If all players run out of cards, or if you come across a dungeon card that all of you simply cannot defeat with your cards. Every player gets a character to play as. Each one has a different special ability that involves discarding cards to gain a special effect. Speaking of that, every player gets a deck of cards catered to them. You'll shuffle and draw a number of cards depending on the number of players. The majority of these cards are just symbols, or potentially double symbols, with each character having a preponderance towards certain symbols. Some of the cards are special abilities that are unique to each character. It could be destroying monsters or allowing players to draw more cards. There are five bosses in the game that you should play in escalating order of difficulty. Each one has several symbols you'll need to match to destroy them, and it will tell you how many cards to put in the dungeon, which you'll place on top of their board. On that note, the dungeon deck consists of door cards, which are split between monsters and obstacles. Each one will have the symbols required to defeat them across the bottom, and different player effects will affect one or the other. Added to that deck are two challenge cards per player. These are either mini-bosses, which are much more powerful enemies that can't be defeated by standard player abilities, and events, which must be resolved immediately against all players before you can proceed through the dungeon. Actually playing the game is simple. First, you'll need a 5-minute timer. The game will have its own official timer app upon completion, but anything that can be stopped and started easily will do. Start the game and the timer by flipping over the first door card of the dungeon. You can't move to the next one until you deal with this one, by having everyone in the party throw down cards with the appropriate symbol to defeat it, and then moving those aside and going on to the next one. Alternatively, you can use your character's special ability to discard cards and potentially breach that card and move on to the next one. Eventually, you will have to fight the boss monster himself. The game continues until you either defeat the boss or you yourself are defeated. 5 Minute Dungeon has that rare combination of things that a lot of people are really going to be attracted to. You have uh, a very interesting theme, strong artwork, you've got frenetic fast gameplay, and I mean the, the name of the game is right there, 5 Minute Dungeon. Even if you include setup, you're still looking at less than 10 minutes once you have the game under your feet and you really know what you're doing. The setup is not long at all, and it's not long to teach either, even to brand new people, or to people who are very casual gamers who may not even be familiar with the types of games that you and I probably play. Uh, so you have the, that combination of things as well the, as the fact that um, it's just got interesting decisions and mechanisms within it. It's not just like throw down cards as fast as you possibly can. You have to make some decisions here because you have to worry about, okay, I use this big bomb card or I, I use my special ability card or I discard these valuable cards now to use my character special ability or I use one of my double symbol cards now but what's right around the corner? Well, you know what's at the very end. You know that there's a very powerful boss, depending on the boss that you face, and they get 
really, really difficult by the time you get to boss number five. You know you have to worry about those things, so how much are you willing to spend early on just to get through hurdle after hurdle? Well, now that's where the teamwork part comes in. Maybe you don't have to do that. Maybe someone else on your team says, I got this covered all by myself. You guys save your cards. So there's a lot of that going on in the game. And the selective use of when you use your powerful bombs, when you, so to speak, when you use your special abilities, uh, that is sort of the core and the crux of the game. Now, while you're doing all this and discussing it with the other players, the timer's going down. And so there's this just fast, frenetic energy of like pushing you to go harder and faster as much as you possibly can. Um, But it's interesting because even though it can feel very chaotic at times, if you play from boss to boss and just sort of have that escalating amount of difficulty, you will feel like you're getting better time and time again. So there is progress being made which means that the game is not just random chaos. It means that it is something that you can get better at. Uh, so when you add all these different things together, the theme, the artwork, the uh, the, the unique take on uh, uh, what is typically a trope of gaming, the fantasy warriors going down through dungeon through a dungeon, the unique take on that together with the game's sense of humor, as you probably saw on the cards, uh, this is a game that's going to be good for casual gamers. This is a game that's going to be good for anyone who, uh, even uh, hardcore gamers, who like more complicated, vast, sprawling fantasy games, but maybe want something fast uh, as a filler in between those kinds of sessions. So if you feel fit into any of those categories, or you know someone who does, you should definitely not just take my word for it. Go to the official Kickstarter project page. It's going on right now. You can follow the link up in the top corner of your screen, as well as down in the description section underneath this video. Those links will take you to the page. You can find out more information and hopefully consider backing the project. That is 5 Minute Dungeon from Wiggles 3D. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting our sponsors. Take care. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. BoardGameBliss.com. Thanks for your support.